This is a quick demo of uh, 32 printer features. The software designed for QED users to give them more flexibility with uh, getting information out of uh, QED ERP system. The 32 printer has been designed by a company called 32 Soft. In a nutshell, 32 printer allows you to export the data from QED into a nice, nicely created PDF form or it could be just a PDF document, or it could be an Excel spreadsheet, notepad document, or uh, email. With the .NET QED user interface, uh, there's a functionality allowing you to export the data from QED into Excel spreadsheet uh, from a browse. And uh, the problem with the browsers is that uh, uh, they are not available all the time in the in the uh, existing modules. Like for instance, uh, accounts receivable. Uh, you have uh, reports, you have uh, inquiry, but you don't have a browse. And uh, sometimes even it's not possible to create a browse uh, in in some modules, right? So uh, what the 32 printer can help you here is you can use inquiry and let's say um, export the, the uh, basically select an output. Uh, in this inquiry, customer inquiry, uh, account inquiry. So just select um, an electronic uh, new output called TTPRN and what you will see next is um, a selection of, uh, it could be a PDF or Excel and so on. And then you can hit enter and the next thing you'll see is the uh, spreadsheet with uh, all the information nicely uh, presented in, in the spreadsheet. Okay. Or another area where you would be missing um, browse is um, menu 25, 25 uh, 15 for instance, the uh, GL reports. Uh, you wouldn't be able to um, export this information into Excel spreadsheet, right? So uh, here's a 32 printer would be handy to, uh, to use to export the data, like for instance, trial balance summary from trial balance summary report into Excel spreadsheet. The uh, similar way, I would just uh, select um, uh, a printer called TTPRN and uh, it'll present me the selection with um, uh, a 32 printer window with the selection to where I want this information to send to. And it could be Excel, could be PDF or Notepad, whatever, right? So the same thing, uh, you'll see the uh, pop-up window, 32 printer, and you select Excel. And the next thing you see uh, will be the spreadsheet with uh, nicely uh, presented uh, the information from um, QED 25-15-4 trial balance summary report. Okay. The next feature I would like to show you is uh, printing into PDF uh, form that um, uh, you can design up front and uh, we can help you with that. So basically, let me print this purchase order. So the next thing I see is the uh, uh, 32 printer window with uh, uh, selection of uh, the forms that I, I can choose from here. And uh, let me select one with a form with uh, terms and conditions attached, right? So what I'm going to see is the PDF document and uh, it's a purchase order and uh, at the back of the purchase order there's a, another static page is attached with the terms and conditions, um, okay? So the next thing I can do is uh, to run this uh, uh, print again and this time I can select uh, uh, make PDF and print. So this way, um, it, uh, this document will be uh, created and printed at the same time to my Windows default printer. Uh, the next thing I could do is I can actually uh, select this option and then re reprint this uh, document with the selection make PDF and email. In this case, the PDF will, will be generated and then email message will pop up with uh, attachment of the, my purchase order with the terms and conditions in it. Okay. Uh, the next feature I'd like to show you is um, another output 
option such as um, notepad and basically you can select the um, the notepad and what is good good for is the uh, if it's a long report and you need to um, search something in in that report or you can use like just a piece of this report and copy paste maybe to somewhere else and uh, this is handy or like your search capabilities or maybe i don't know just to um, <coughs> um, reformat uh, some data from you know from the, from the notepad and then append to um, uh, email uh, email message body or something like that. So it's, it's sometimes also very handy to to have. Same as uh, the last option, uh, which I'm going to show you. The last option is uh, WordPad. And it's basically it's not a WordPad. It's a, it's a configurable option. Let me print it again. So this one is, uh, you can <coughs> set up any of the other, it could be a Microsoft Word, for example, or it could be uh, any other existing third-party software which you can um, uh, configure in 32 printer and send it directly to this application. Um, and uh, we'll give you the um, uh, user guide which will tell you exactly how to configure uh, this label and the application itself. And uh, that could be, you know, application of your choice, right? So, and then you can, you know, send this data directly to um, to that application. Okay. Uh, so, in general, okay. So this is uh, this concludes my presentation. And if you have any questions uh, or uh, have any concerns, please let us know. Okay. Uh, it's uh, www.32soft.com or you can contact us via email, which is uh, contact at 32soft.com. Thank you very much.